quite a bit, 22 k we deserve our lunch, beautiful lamb and beautiful small squid, mm. nice. Anything, anyone, know that I get it done, in the bands I be pulling up, tell your friends come Good morning Paul, <laughs> Paul over there, that's it, and Tony, hello Tony. Yeah, yeah, Feeling? Well, a bit thirsty, a bit warm, but definitely uh, wouldn't be paddling this fast without the electric motor, that's for sure. So what, what's the gradient we're going up? 10%, I think, for another 2k. 
that there's a little village ahead. Time for a drink. Right, so I'm in tour mode right now. It does go right up to sports and then really if I want to make it much easier I go to turbo mode and that makes it much easier. See the speed starts to increase. I go back to sports mode. I was going a bit flat here too. And then back to tour mode and then if you're really taking it easy on the flat you can go to eco or just off completely. Okay, I'm off now and to struggle. Back to uh, tour mode and uh, yes, all in all, having a lot of fun. Hello! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> That's the other way of doing it. Right, so um, on this ride we're in the island of Var. We arrived in Stari Grad and now we're doing a 22 kilometer up and over the hill. The main road actually goes in a tunnel through, through the mountain here. So we're riding from obviously sea level and the peak of our pass will be at 450 meters. On day five of our wonderful adventure cycling tour across Croatia and we have had an exciting start to the day a one hour speedboat ride from Havar town across the strait two meter waves and a speedboat for a whole hour to Villa Luca a beautiful sleepy town on the island of Korčula so we're now trekking across the mountain range, 50 kilometers from Vela Luca to the town of Korčula. And we've been looking for a lunch stop, but these sleepy towns have not been open. Riding through the mountain pass, 280 meters above sea level, looking at this amazing little village, Putanesca Luca, something like that. And the incredible cliffs. And we're down to three lines on our battery. Will we make it to Cortula? Will we make it? <laughs>
stocking up so that was lots of fun and a quick breakfast and packing and out of here and now we're on the ferry and we're not sure are we on the right ferry so it's left 15 minutes early and we almost didn't make it Leah was riding up the plank as it was coming up <laughs> I made it about 60 k's to do today. We've already crossed 450 meters past. Now we're down in a bit of a valley again and then we've got another uh, probably another 50 meter climb before we start heading back down to the coast. It's been a great ride, a bit windy obviously right now. Uh, we're facing into the wind. I've consumed uh, two bars of my energy and I've got three bars of energy left. And we're riding into the wind. But well, it's been a great trip. Been an active one, definitely not for one that wants for anyone that wants to sit on their bum. So we've had riding and walking. And now we've got the past to come. We're at 270 meters. I have Leah behind me, really enthusiastic about the day. We've uh, probably got about a kilometer to go before we reach the hilltop. And uh, Leah, being the marathon runner, she's finding this so easy. Okay, Leah's back, she's just going to power right past me. Here she goes. The technique she has. Just powering through. No resistance in her life whatsoever. We started at uh, half past six this morning because we had to get up, pack, and uh, then catch the ferry from <laughs> Cortula. <laughs> which then the ferry arrived 15 minutes early, so we just managed to get on there. And then it's been a hell of a ride uh, 60 kilometers across, going south towards Dubrovnik, ending up in. Ston. And we're absolutely cactus. There are so many people here, I can't believe it. And this is even before the season has started. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. 